Hi everyone, it's Maya Kinder here, founder of Billion Soul. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. First of all, I have to apologize for the new setup. We've actually got some guests staying with us at the moment, Steve's brother. Uh, and partner so I couldn't film where I usually film and then my husband's using the study at the moment he's on a call hopefully you won't be able to hear him in the background either so I'm filming in the living room so hopefully it's not too busy behind me and second of all I'm actually really sick at the moment and not feeling well so if I'm feeling a bit breathless or it's a bit stop and starty I do apologize bear with me but in today's video, I'm going to talk through my July favorites. So the first product we're gonna talk about, which I've spoken about in a few recent videos, is the 107 Hair and Scalp Hydrating Microbiome Treatment. So most of you know I absolutely love their microbiome shampoo, so I was really excited this summer when they came out with their hair treatment slash conditioner. So I will use this one after shampooing my hair. This one is really different because it's quite lightweight. So what I really love about it is it's nourishing enough to um, help heal my ends which can get really dry and yet it is lightweight enough that it doesn't leave my scalp feeling way down or oily um, so it's really lightweight it's really quick to rinse out which I also appreciate and also contains vinegar which is a really good purifying ingredient for both your scalp and your hair leaving it shiny 107 of course is known for their um, aged vinegar so this one contains their seven-year aged vinegar which contains lots of prebiotics and probiotics and also contains their fermented ginseng extract as well. Biotin and panthenol help strengthen the um, scalp and the skin microbiome on your scalp as well and it also contains green tea and heart leaf extract as well which is obviously very soothing so if you've got an irritated scalp this is a really great one as well. Like I said the main key point of this one is I love that it's a dual care product so normally with conditioners I would just just apply it to my ends but this one is light enough that I can massage it in as a treatment for my scalp but then also leave it on my ends um, for some added hydration and nutrition so I've absolutely been loving this one obviously paired with their amazing shampoo as well. I'm just gonna try and show you a close-up of my hair at the moment I haven't even washed my hair today this is two-day-old hair um, but I just feel like it looks a lot healthier at the moment shinier and I don't know just like my scalp it's not as oily not as weighed down and I just thought I'd quickly show that to you as well as proof so the second product probably doesn't need an introduction this is the skin essentials activating treatment lotion by Revectin Revectin is a new brand that we've curated for beauty and soul and this is one of their most popular products as you can see from the texture it's quite a viscous product um, so they market it as a toner slash essence. Um, this one really is a hyaluronic acid um, product. It contains seven different types and sizes of hyaluronic acid. So it works on all of the layers in the skin from the deepest to the uppermost um, parts, ensuring that every part of your skin is well nourished and treated. But it also contains niacinamide, which is a really great anti-aging ingredient, helps to improve skin tone, skin texture, and also also contains caffeine and papaya extract which is known for its kind of invigorating properties helping to de-puff and soothe tired looking skin so I find this is really refreshing to use a little bit goes a long way you can layer it if you want to say if you've got drier skin um, and yeah sometimes I don't even need a serum like I will just do two layers of this straight to my hands pat it into my skin and then follow up with a moisturizer and in hot weather during the summer that's really all I need to give my skin a boost of hydration it also contains a patent and complex called I think it's called their like barrier repair complex um, but essentially it is their patent and complex that helps to improve and maintain a good skin barrier so we all know about skin barrier repair it's important to keep it healthy and not compromise it so yeah I know this one is really popular for good reason and suitable for um, sensitive skin types as well because it's hypoallergenic it has no fragrance and yeah this is probably my fourth bottle I used to use this ages ago then 
I stopped using it just because there's so many other products to try and then I reached for it again the other day and I forgot how much I loved it. So that's why it is included in July favorites. So my third product is the Bacchio Timeless Bloom Revitalizing Serum from Purito. I also love that it says well aging, okay? None of this anti-aging we are aging well my friends um, so this one contains one percent of bacuchiol bacuchiol people say it different ways bacuchiol um, and this is a known plant-derived ingredient that has similar effects to retinol so if you're a little bit scared to use retinol but you've heard wonderful things about the anti-aging properties or well aging properties um, or if you're pregnant and therefore you need to stay away from any vitamin a derived products then Bacuchiol is a really good ingredient to incorporate in your skincare. This one contains 1%, also contains betaine and allantoin, which are really good at soothing dry skin. It does have a slight scent, and I do believe it contains some essential oils, so please do check the ingredients list if you have sensitivities to particular essential oils, but it is really good for sensitive skin. I love that it's kind of a milky, um, let's see if I can show that. Ooh, it's not focusing. There we go. Um, it's kind of a milky consistency. I find it really great to include as part of my evening routine. Very nourishing. And yeah, I've just been reaching for this one more lately. And who doesn't want to age well? I also like the stopper on this. So the pipette, one pipette, well, maybe one or two pipettes enough actually is on its last legs. There's hardly any in here. Um, but this airless pump just helps to preserve the product better in the bottle as well. So yeah, I really love that one. The next product I have is the Mung Bean Wash Off Mask from House of Doa. So House of Doa Wash Off Masks I think are really great. First of all, I love the aesthetic pouches. They are very handy for traveling. Um, the Rice Wash Off Mask is probably the most popular, but they also have a pumpkin and then the Mung Bean. So this one is suited more for oilier skin types, congested skin types, or even if you don't have that skin type, but you just want to do a little bit more of a deep cleanse, purifying treatment every now and again. I like using this as part of my Sunday evening um, routine but this one is mildly exfoliating because it has really finely ground up mung beans very gentle it's not going to be abrasive or too harsh when you exfoliate in but I really like leaving it on just for about 10 minutes until I can feel it dry and then gently um, massaging with water and you can also give yourself a little bit of a gentle physical exfoliation as well so mung bean is known to help soothe and irritated um, skin irritations so um, uh, very calming if you've got problematic skin and this one contains your quintessential clay so carbon and bentonite which help draw out impurities from the skin my final product which is obviously a good option for summer and this is the AB quick stick protection bar this is a factor 50 SPF sun stick there's a few sun sticks out on the moment and I always find myself coming back to this one purely because a lot of them are aimed for more oilier skin types they have a more mattifying finish and as someone with dry skin I don't really appreciate that and I also don't really like the matte finish I quite like a little bit of glow to my skin um, so I really Really like the fact that this one is more of like a balm consistency it doesn't leave a white cast I feel like it glides more easily over the skin especially over makeup and I just find it's quite easy to use on the go you're not um, having to put sun cream on your hands and then putting it on your face which can be a little unhygienic I do give it a little bit of a wipe before I put the cap back on and reuse just so that any bacteria from my face isn't transferring onto the sun stick but I do think in particular this is good for traveling because it doesn't count towards your liquids and the large applicator is just really good to use on the go especially on the plane when you should still be topping up your your sun protection so I really like this one it is a broad spectrum um, SPF chemical it's got both UVA and UVB filters um, so something to keep in mind but if you have dry skin or you prefer that dewy glow in the summer then look at the ABIB sun stick um, it's very different from say the Beauty of Joe Sun um, sun stick and also the Tokabo which are probably more suited for oilier skin types so my final favorite of July is actually a film called past lives is being released in the UK by Studio Canal September 8th in cinemas and it just goes beyond your quintessential romance film it delves deeper into kind of identity what it means to be 
I guess, Korean versus American. It's a love story at its heart, but it taps into those kind of what if sliding door moments in our lives. So the theme of past lives is a Korean expression called inyeon, which is basically the destined links between us all and the idea that if you've brushed up against someone in the street, it means you've got layers of inyan or history. So you may have known each other from a past life, for, exe uh, for example. Um, I don't think I'm doing the description justice. Please do check out the trailer. It basically features two Korean kids growing up in Seoul and then she um, migrates to the US and then basically talks about where their lives take them in the future. It is so beautifully filmed. Um, the director is Celine Song and some of the quotes that she has said about the film which has been absolutely gorgeous. I'm so sorry it's so loud in the background. My husband's in the kitchen making a lot of noise. Um, but I'm very excited that I will actually be collaborating with Studio Canal on the UK release. So make sure you're signed up to our mailing list and also following us on Instagram for a exciting giveaway coming up to celebrate the UK release but in the meantime please do check out the trailer because I know once you check out the trailer you will want to see it in real life in September as well. Also if you need any more convincing to see past lives it also features Taeyu who is a Korean actor and I know him from Soul Searching which is a movie about Korean adoptees returning to their motherland which is really funny it's on Netflix if you haven't seen it you should go watch it um, but he was also in a K-drama quite recently which I haven't seen I think it's called Love to Hate You um, but yeah I absolutely love him in past lives he looks great so that is another reason why you should watch it Okay, so those are my July favorites. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of them yourself or if any of them are on your wish list. Don't forget to check out the trailer for Past Lives and make sure you're following us over on Instagram for the giveaway and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!